just about to walk out onto the Hoyle Bank, hopefully get some flounder, maybe some winter bass if we're lucky. Northeast wind today, sea's going to be flat as a pancake so it's probably just going to be a flounder bash. It's about a 20 minute walk out to the mark, as, uh, as you can see it's a bit like a desert but we will find the sea after 20 minutes. Okay we're on top of the Hoyle Bank now, just done the long walk. What we're looking for when we get on the bank is we're looking for gullies, so I'm standing where I'm going to be at high water and this looks perfect, there's lots of gullies, lots of dips, lots of sandbanks and we're going to be walking down to the low water mark and fishing it right up to high water where I am now. Hopefully these gullies will encourage the flounder to sit in them. So we're looking for deep holes as a walk out to try and fish when I come back and memorise where they are. I'll show you the rigs we're using today, using my nice little uh, Sort of Euro style bomb, 20 pound snud line, size of 1 0 hooks, just a basic 1 up 1 down rig, and over here we've got more of a flounder rig, <coughs> got some attractants on the snud lines, and the same kind of weight. It's just on uh, low water now, it's absolutely flat calm. So believe it or not the flounder should be because it was really rough here yesterday and this is what we're walking back on now, the banks and the channels which I've got to walk back on because we fish. Little uh, chat about the baits here, we're basically going to be using black lug and razor fish mix, fairly big bait. <coughs> this usually works out here on the whole bank, just a mix of black lug and razor few attractors on one rig and um, this one will go about 30 yards out and I've got another rig on a loop rig will go about 50 60 yards out and we'll just fish the tide in. When we're fishing the Hoyle Bank here we have to watch these gullies behind us because it will come in from the side as well as the front and we will get pushed off. Usually when the fishing starts is the time you get pushed off the bank and then you might need a longer cast to stay on the back channel until they come over the bank and fill the next channel up. Tend to keep your rods quite low in the rod stand um, just to pick the bites up a bit easier. We're on a 7.5 meter tide today, there's not really any point fishing this, this tide over 8 meter. You can fish in this tide on a big tide, but you have to leave for 3 hours after low water because the whole beach will flood the water, you will get cut off. Uh, species out here today should be flounder. Uh, the odd good size place will be in November, there's still the odd good size bass out here but we haven't really got the surf for it today but it doesn't mean that we won't be feeding. Uh, there's also sea trout and mullet to be had at this mark but they're not commonly caught although they are here in good numbers. And there's also the uh, pesky weaver fish so if you are wading out here and you haven't got the appropriate footwear just, just bear that in mind. Right, you can see the first channel starting to flood behind me now, so it's nearly time to make a move over to the back bank. All about another 5 10 minutes or so, and I'm gonna have to make a move, drop some baits quite close short in where I am now, and walk back to the back bank over there. Right, this hopefully this bank is the one that should hold the flounder. Right, we're on the second bank now, just waiting for the second channel to fill up. Again, you just keep an eye on your channels to the right hand side because the tide always comes in that way. We'll hold this bank for about 45 minutes and we'll get pushed off again onto the third bank. First flounder out, uh, what's here? 34 centimetres, one pound one ounces. Hopefully we get some bigger ones in a minute, but they are nice and fat today.
again, another nice set uh, floundered again. <coughs> that one's at one pound two ounces. Again, we're on a uh, 36 centimetres, still nice and fast. Is starting to bite like crazy now. I've got another one bit on my right hand one. I'm just going to leave it on for a few minutes to try and get a double header out of it. Right, that, that was quite clearly a mistake. I ignored the bite thinking it was a flounder, thinking there would be another flounder that would come onto it. The next minute I had a good pull down, a slack line bite, and I had no hook up. So I assume a bass hit me there. I'll just keep trying, hopefully, they'll, um, hopefully if something like that's about, we might have a good day. Right, we've got one pound seven ounces on the place. Lovely sized fish, unfortunately that's gonna be going home for my tea. Fantastic fish. There he is, 38 centimetres, one pound seven ounces. Again, flounder number three, really good size one this time, and that's coming in at one pound seven ounces. Really good size fish, that we'll get that measured. Again, he's coming at 38 centimeters, good size flounder. Again, I'm on top of the second bank, it's starting to backfill again now. I'm not going to get long on here now, and then I'm going to get pushed off again onto the third bank. The third bank's over there. It's a shame because as soon as this mark starts to fish, you'll get fish after fish and you will get pushed off the bank and away from them. you just got to wait for them to fill, fill up and come back to you. A close cast in here now, and then walk back over to the bank, set up and you're out about 100 yards with a 10 yard cast. But you really do have to get through these uh, channels fairly swiftly. They get deep within uh, 15 minutes. Another really nice sized flounder again. You just keep coming out. Same stamp as the others, about 36 centimetres. We'll get them back in. Right, it's time to get this cast in now and get off this bank. I'm going to be underwater in about 10 minutes. Let's see if there's anything on this. Flounder there again, similar size again, 55 centimetres, about a pound. 
Round the number four. He's coming at one pound four ounces. Good size fish again. Again, one pound four ounces and thirty seven centimeters. Right, this is where I really start to get pushed away from the fish now. I'm on the third bank and what I've done is I've looked for a little channel like this that goes into a big hole at the back of me and before I come down and mark this hole out this is where I think the fish will be. They'll be in the hole and you follow the channel round and they'll be in this hole here. So that's a long and short cast once I get pushed off this bank which won't be very long at all because it's gonna, it is coming in behind me straight away. All lovely flounder they just come off the third bank there. Good size fish again. Again, one pound six ounces. This one's a bit smaller. One pound two ounces. Again, lovely size fish. size flounder again, again about 36 centimetres. Flounder there, yeah, that's the biggest got to 39 centimetres. That's the longest fish today. I'm going to wade in a minute, see what he weighs in it. Surprisingly, he's coming at £1.5 ounces. Still a really good sized fish. Okay, we're, on the, uh, we're on the fifth bank now. This is basically the last fish in the bank you'll get. This is four hours on the flood. What we have here now is I've now got no channels behind me. I've got one more channel to come in but as I walk back I've literally got no banks to walk onto and this is this is the top of the Hoyle bank it's very very high so I don't really see the point of fishing to, uh, the two hours up to high however we've probably got about 20 minutes worth of fishing left on this bank and hopefully I can pull one or two more out and then I'll be uh, heading home quite happily Size flounder again, nice and fresh, same sort of stamp of fish. Well, 
That's the biggest fish of the day for sure. We'll get that on the measure now. That's a really good size fish. Right, this little beauty's just gone to 40 centimetres. We'll get it weighed now. Yeah, certainly the best fish of the day. You can see that, but it's blowing around. One pound ten. Lovely sized fish. Fantastic. What more cast and air, we'll call it a day. Right, that's it now. Fishing's over, it's time to get off the bank now. It's now getting a bit uh, dodgy, and the only way out is that gap there. Um, I'm going to be pushed straight out the fish now. They're still biting, but um, I have had a good day. So, uh, we're going to fishing on the Hoyle Bank. Time to take the, uh, the long walk back. This is why I don't fish the beach any much further back than that, because when you get past that bank and it fills up, you're just left with a flat featureless beach. Now once it breaks the bank on an 8.9 metre tide, this whole beach will flood very, very quickly, quicker than you can walk off it. Also, if you look at the lifeboat station, if I can uh, zoom in on that. Let me just find it, there we are. The lifeboat station, the tide will come in there along that wall on an 8.9 metre tide and you will get cut off on this bank. If this ever happens, always walk far to your right hand side as you can and head for those houses off the beach. It doesn't tend to flood that beach unless it's a 9 metre tide. But anywhere down this stretch here from the lifeboat station down here will be full of water and you will get cut off on this bank.